hello everyone welcome to this channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this design of zara cap with a bow design at the back if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly smash the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos the materials we'll be needing for this tutorial are satin fabric. I'm using a dull face satin fabric. You may want to use Ankara fabric or any fabric of choice. Then for the embellishment, I'll be needing these appliques or trimmings. Then I'll be needing wadding and marco. You can get marco from shoemaker shop in the market this is what marco looks like can you see then i'll also be needing my pins a machine color of thread and needle tailoring chalk and my scissors to cut the fabric i will start off by taking measurement of the fabric my fabric measures 25 inches by 16 inches the length of the fabric or the edge circumference is 25 inches and the width is 16 inches i'm going to set that aside then for the marco i measured and cut at 80 inches length and 2.5 inches width now i'll get the fabric and place it like so this is the right side facing downward and the wrong side facing up. I'm going to place the marker on the wrong side like so. And now I'll get the midpoint of the marker. So I'm trying to use my chalk to get the midpoint of the marker. I will also get the midpoint of the fabric as well. I'll get my scissors to notch that. Can you see? Then I may want to use my chalk to also mark it out. So that's the midpoint. I'll place my marker on it like so. Please endeavor to place your marco on the midpoint as shown in the video. Now I'm going to fold in. Just wash your screen. Can you see that? So I'm going to fold in this part. Can you see that? Now I will get my pins to pin this down. Okay. So I'll pin that onto the fabric, the fabric, the darn fabric. Please do not pin the marco at this point. Just pin the fabric, okay? Because we are going to be stitching that. Can you see? I will extend my pins to both ends of the fabric because we are going to be stitching that as well. Now I will get my pin and I will also pin this part, this tip where the marco end. I am going to be pinning it because we are going to stitch that to uh, prevent the marco from moving to the other side of the fabric. So we are going to pin that and then I will also pin it at the other end or on the other side. Can you see? So after pinning the fabric, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'll be stitching in same direction. Just stitch the part that you pinned down. Okay, so you stitch from this point to this point and uh, from this point to this point. I'll do that off camera and then I'll get back. Now after stitching, this is what I have. Can you see that? 
can you see so this is the wrong side of the fabric I'm going to fold like so okay with the wrong side outside and the right side inside I'll fold like so then I'm going to take this to the same machine again and then I will stitch this part so I'll stitch from this end to this end and I also stitch from this end to the other end and then I will get back this is what I have after stitching can you see that now I'm going to take my needle and my thread and I'll be making a running stitches on the fabric like so so you just watch me I'll start from this point I'll make a running stitches on the fabric so I will skip the band area and start my running stitches from this point so I'll take my needle in out in out and then I'll make my running stitches all the way through to the other end of the fabric after making my running stitches I'm going to drag that I'm going to pull the thread can you see I'll pull the thread firmly and then I'll notch the thread using my needle and my thread after notching the thread I'm going to cut out the excess thread now we have been working on the wrong side of the fabric I'm going to turn my cap to the right side like so can you see so this is the cap this is how the cap looks can you see that for the bow design we are going to be placing at the back of the cap I measured and cut out 20 inches by 7 inches so I'll be needing another fabric that is 7 inches this is the first fabric because I'll be making two bows then this is the second fabric the second fabric is 18 inches by 7 inches say 7 inches but the length is 18 inches then I'm going to be inserting wording into the fabric after stitching so for the wording you just cut something that you'll be able to insert into the fabric now my measurement is 9.5 inches by 7 inches so I later reduced that to 6 inches okay because I realized that 7 inches was too bulky so I yeah, I have 7 inches, but I will reduce that to 6 inches. Now, I'm going to take one of the fabric like so, okay? So, just watch how I'm going to fold this fabric. Firstly, I'm going to get the midpoint of the fabric. Can you see that? I'll get the midpoint of the fabric. That's the midpoint. After getting the midpoint, I'm going to be folding the fabric on the wrong side. Okay, so watch. Um, this is the wrong side of the fabric, so I'm going to fold like so. Okay, so I'll take that part and place it on the midpoint, then I'll also take the other part and place it on the midpoint. Remember, the part that is facing up is the wrong side of the fabric and the part inside is the right side of the fabric so I'm going to stitch from this end to this end okay so I'll use my pin to pin that down can you see So after pinning the fabric, I'm going to be taking this to the same machine and stitch from this point to this point. Then I'll leave this part open. I'll also repeat that on the other fabric. Can you see? So after stitching, this is what I have. Now I will turn this to the right side. Okay, can you see that? So I'll turn both fabric to the right side. And then after, I will take the wording. First, I will start with the small wording and the small fabric, the one that is that measures 18 inches by 6 inches. 
I will insert the wording into the fabric. Sorry, this fabric measures 18 inches by 7 inches. Okay, then the other fabric measures 20 inches by 7 inches. Can you see that? So I have the smaller fabric and the bigger fabric. Now I'm going to place the fabric like so. So yeah, just watch what I'm going to be doing on the screen. So I will hold this part, this midpoint like so. Then I will crimp this part. Can you see that? So this is how I will go about to form my bow. Now get my needle and my thread and then after I'm going to tack this down firmly. So it's difficult to pass your needle and your to pass your your needle all the way through to the other side. So you just use your thread to tie it. Can you see? So after tying, you want to tie, you want to ensure that this is very firm and then you take your need you to secure this folder i'll notch the thread and cut out the ss thread then after i'll get the cap i'm going to be attaching this bow design to the back of the zara cap using my needle and my thread so you want to attach this neatly so i'm going to take my time to attach that neatly then for this part that is open i will be covering it with a bias stripe so i got a i got a black bias stripe to cover that up the part that i use my thread to tie because i don't want the thread to be visible I'm going to secure that firmly and then after I will cut at the SS thread and the SS bias stripe. After cutting at the SS thread, I'm going to arrange my bow like so. Okay, so if you want your bow to be very, very strong and thick, it means you have to use a thicker wording. For the embellishment, I'm going to be using this applique. So you have to decide where you want to place the applique and then you use your needle and your thread to tack it down or you can use gum to gum it down. And this is the finished look of our Zara cap. If you got value from watching this video, please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. Also like, share and comment on this video.